Uh, so there is a concern amongst many radiologists um, that uh, AI could take over the job of radiologists. But the reality is that these dire predictions have really not come to fruition. Um, instead, radiologists have the opportunity to embrace this technology. And if I can quote a radiologist from Stanford, Dr. Langlocks, he said that AI won't replace radiologists, but radiologists who use AI will replace radiologists who don't use AI. Today on Health and Family, we visit with Dr. Jean Seeley, president of the Canadian Society of Breast Imaging, to learn about how recent advances within healthcare technologies can help radiologists and improve women's health outcomes. Well, we are doing a good job of breast imaging and mammography, and we've seen a marked improvement of almost a 50% reduction in breast cancer mortality since we began screening mammography in 1989. There's a large Canadian study of 2.8 million women who were screened for breast cancer over 20 years, and we found that there was a 94% survival in the women who were screened as compared to an 85% survival in the women who were not screened. Um, and 75% of all women in Canada are diagnosed with early stage breast cancer. So that's the good news. The bad news is that 25% of women are diagnosed at a late stage of breast cancer and when it's already spread beyond the breast. Delayed access to cancer screening correlates to later stage diagnosis. Backlogs in screening may take years for our health system as it stands to catch up. Uh, the unfortunate grim reality of the backlogs in breast imaging is, is stark. So currently in Ontario, we have over 300,000 women who have delayed their screening mammograms. Many among the patient backlog come from groups, including black women, that have historically been underscreened. There are social determinants of health that we know affect uh, women of color and women who are economically disadvantaged. And with the additional wait times with mammography, we know that these women in particular uh, are going to find themselves in a very challenging situation. Sometimes there are cultural norms uh, that preclude women from um, uh, being concerned about their breast health. And all of these factors are going to uh, provide a situation where we know that uh, women of color and women who are economically disadvantaged uh, may not get the health care that they need. And now we are seeing more women presenting um, at uh, a clinical symptom where it's a later stage diagnosis of breast cancer. The wait times uh, for diagnostic breast imaging in Ontario have tripled. We um, have a tremendous backlog, and so using technology to help improve our efficiency uh, and accuracy will be an amazing tool to help reduce this backlog. Um, and so I think this is probably the opportunity that we have right now to uh, address it. A major new study in radiology shows that artificial intelligence, AI, is a promising tool for breast cancer detection in screening mammography programs. AI is a very hot topic amongst radiologists for several reasons. Um, one of the reasons is because we have a big gap in terms of uh, screening. We've seen a, a marked reduction in breast cancer mortality, but there is still 30% of breast cancer that becomes incurable because it's metastatic. So we need to do a better job at detecting all breast cancers at an early stage. So the um, benefits of AI screening are really being seen uh, currently in academic centers. Uh, and so we need this to be um, implemented more widely um, across the board. What we're seeing in some of the studies in these academic centers are that it is improving uh, the efficiencies of the radiologists. It's reducing the um, number of uh, minutes to read a study. In one reader study, it reduced it by 50%. Um, we're also seeing it reducing the number of false positives um, and specifically uh, amongst experienced radiologists as well as general radiologists. We're seeing the number of the false alarms reduced um, and we're seeing the accuracy increased. 
So I think this is really an opportunity to help uh, really improve our screening um, technology and improve our efficiency workflow. We're also seeing it in quality improvement with our technologists in some AI software to help improve their positioning um, for the mammography. And that's also uh, reducing the number of false alarms uh, and, and um, inefficient use of the uh, technology. Andy Smith is Vice President of R&D at Hologic. Hologic has revolutionized breast cancer screening with their 3D mammography technology, which finds 20 to 65% more invasive breast cancers and reduced callbacks up to 40% compared to 2D alone. So the purpose of AI really is to help the radiologist, not to replace the radiologist. And that's the way that it's employed right now. It helps it in the hidden way where it's improving the images uh, so the radiologists don't overlook it. And it also helps uh, in identifying mammograms that are more suspicious and ones that are less suspicious so the radiologist can appropriately employ his or her uh, time in the day. I'm encouraged by the advances in breast imaging. When I was first diagnosed almost 20 years ago, uh, a radiologist would, would compare films um, to see if, if a patient had uh, breast cancer. I'm excited to see how AI is going to um, advance mammography as well. So I think we've made a lot of advances over the last 20 years, so I'm encouraged by all of that. What's happened recently is a great technological advance uh, called deep learning. So the original AI algorithms were programmed, in a sense, to look for the same kinds of things that a radiologist was trained to look for. You know, what does a cancer look like? Uh, with deep learning uh, is, is an algorithm where we, the programmers don't actually teach the computer what to look for. The computer looks at the images and figures it out by itself. Uh, it's a pretty amazing thing. Um, and the accuracy of these algorithms and, and the, great, the improved performance uh, has allowed us to, uh, to achieve things that we were not able to achieve with the older AI. Some of them are improved performance of finding cancers, which is basically uh, the main goal of AI, or one of the main goals. But it's also able to triage or to identify some mammograms which are almost certainly benign and some which are much more suspicious. And then the, this helps the radiologist in their workflow and it helps them uh, to more appropriately uh, partition their time, uh, you know, for the mammograms which need extra care and those which are almost certainly not a problem. So uh, AI technology uh, in breast imaging may well impact our efficiency to do what we really love to do. It could help radiologists feel less overwhelmed about the increasing volume of cases to be reported allow them to focus on communicating with patients and interacting with colleagues um, in multidisciplinary teams um, and guiding decision making uh, and, and making sure that we provide good quality assurance, education, policy making and other skilled tasks that currently we cannot um, do with computer um, programs. So we don't feel that AI will replace um, radiologists in the foreseeable future but it will allow us um, major efficiency gains to perform higher tasks and value added um, patient care. The um, diagnostic performance and accuracy, I think will be a big breakthrough and will potentially affect the entire breast imaging uh, life cycle. To learn more about advancing technology within breast cancer screening, please visit the website below canada.hologic.com slash en dash ca slash breast dash health.